A bridge emergency developing tonight in Pontiac with major repairs needed on an overpass that handles a lot of traffic. Roadblocks now in place along Martin Luther King Boulevard with the bridge in such bad shape. All traffic is closed, including to bicyclists and pedestrians. Tim Pamplin in Pontiac with the night cam to give us a closer look at the damage. Tim. We are at the approach to the Martin Luther King Bridge over the Grand Trunk Railroad in Pontiac. As you say, the bridge is closed and for good reason. Just take a look at these images from the engineer's report of this bridge. Just abysmal. No way you can cut it. Dangerous, scary. And for Nakia here, who works at the foot of the bridge at the storage center. Oh, I've been driving over that every day. Absolutely shocking. This is again the Martin Luther King Bridge just east of Woodward Avenue near St. Joe's Hospital. The bridge crosses the Grand Trunk Western Railroad lines down below. So this now has the city, state and feds involved. The damage here isn't just to the metal. Just look at these foundations washed away, exposing who knows what utility pipes and wires down there. This entire situation has everybody asking, well, exactly what Nakia asked this evening. How to get that bad? with nobody doing anything about it? The bridge is in very difficult shape. That's recently elected mayor of Pontiac, Tim Grimal, only been in office for seven months. He says his administration is laser focused on infrastructure. No question. This is just one of many examples that uh, illustrates the need for massive investments in all kinds of infrastructure. The mayor tells me there are several reasons this repair will be fast tracked. One, the amount of decay. Two, the fact that it runs over a very important railroad system. And the third consideration is the fact that it uh, does provide more direct access to uh, a major hospital. Yeah, to the mayor's point back out here now, if we look down there, that is St. Joe's Hospital, the emergency room right there. If you were coming from 75 M59 to get to this hospital, you would take a direct shot over this bridge. For now, the ambulances have to do a detour. That's not good when every second counts. That is a scene in Pontiac tonight with the night camp. Tim Pamplin, local four. All right, Tim, Mayor Grimel says repairs are going to cost an estimated $6 million, with the state covering about 95% of those costs. Repairs expected to begin early next year.